number one Iron Age booty daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Iron Age News Roundup, or the Ian Roundup. Because, anyway, if you've been a subscriber to my channel, you get the joke as to why I love calling it Ian. But, this is going to hopefully be a new segment that I do on the channel. I'm trying to figure out what best days to do it on. But if you guys like what I'm going to do here tonight, and that's basically cover all of the things that I have seen go on in the last week and the things that I think are very relevant to the Iron Age and what's been going on. We're going to talk about projects tonight. We're going to talk about websites. We're going to talk about the things that are happening. So if you guys like what I am doing here, I need you guys to, above anything else, yes, you guys can like the video, you guys can subscribe to the channel, and you guys can ring the notification bell, but above all of that, this is a new format, a new video, and YouTube is absolutely going to destroy this thing, right? It's going to show it to like three of you. So for the three of you that YouTube shows this to, I need you guys to go share this on whatever social media platforms you use, whether that be Facebook or Twitter or Minds or any of those other places and tell people if they want to know what the Iron Age News Roundup is, have people come over here. That will bring more people in and have more people be able to send things to me that I can bring into hopefully next week's installment. So above everything, share this video and tell the people that I am going to try to do this because I've had some commenters say, you know what, this would be a really cool thing for you to do. <clears throat> so ladies and gentlemen, first off, we're going to start off with a couple of guys that definitely got their name in Comics Gate, okay? So, the guys that got stuff in Comics Gate being Ethan Van Skyver. He's been officially suspended off of Twitter. Now, I wasn't aware of this when it happened. I was aware of it probably like half a day after it happened. And so, I had to reach out and ask, hey, like, what's going on here? Why is he suspended off of Twitter? And what's the importance that I believe this is? So, he was suspended off of Twitter supposedly for an old tweet that was out there basically it sounds like there was a mass flagging campaign that went against ethan now for those of you who know ethan he worked on things like green lantern obviously his prolific cyber frog which i have not read i've just i've heard good things about it but overall this is definitely a negative for everything going on in the indie movement and for kind of like everybody through comics gate and pulp rev and the iron age movement in and of itself right you are not allowed to step out of line at all and so Something that you said years ago, Elon's gonna ban you for it. Period. End. The guy is gonna ban you for it. The guy is definitely not playing by the rules that he told you he was going to. And why does it matter that people are getting banned on Twitter? Well, that's the one of the town squares where all of us reach out and we connect with each other. We share our projects. I share my videos over there and say, hey guys, come over here and check out what I'm doing. And honestly, Twitter has worked very well for that. It's a really, really good place to market your stuff and kind of grow your audience in a different way, at least from my experience. So if they're gonna start nuking channels from stuff that you've said years ago, for right now it's hate speech, tomorrow it might be something against the the new stuff that's going on with, with, the, with the COOF, you know, we're hearing about that news update. But honestly, guys, this is a major thing. And I would call for everybody out there, it sounds like it's time to find a platform that's more friendly to us that a lot of people can move to and share what's going on. The issue is Twitter ain't going away. It's still gonna be a major town square, but if we're all banned off of it, what the heck are we gonna do? How are we gonna share our thoughts, our videos, and our projects? So I feel like talking about Ethan Van Skyver getting suspended is a big deal. Next up, if you guys are on Twitter at all, uh, John Della Rose in his merch store. He has the actual comics merch going on right now. This is such a fantastic troll meme, whatever you want to call it. If you guys want to go over to John Della Rose's merch store, he said, hey guys, big announcement. I'm going to start my own comic company. And he has the funniest freaking image on all of this stuff. And it's definitely a clapback and a jab at a lot of those people who are like, well, actual comics, you know, the people that we're talking about, right? The people who started a lot of this culture war crap that we now have to worry about. 
we can't just worry about you know going and having fun at the movies anymore we have to wonder what political message they're going to send to us and that's the people that are out there and that's kind of why i like supporting a lot of the guys that i do because they don't want to send you a political message so moving on from those two things, let's go over to some websites that I absolutely love to check out and I hope that you guys like to check them out as well. Starting off with ironage.media. Open submissions for Anvil 3 are going on right now. I happen to know that Richard is actively reviewing the submissions that are getting sent in for Anvil number three. In addition to that, Anvil number two, and if you guys haven't seen this, this is the fantastic, fantastic magazine that's going to cover a lot of things. The first one had a preview for Razor Fist's Western comic and hopefully you guys have picked this one up. This is issue number one. Issue number two is already funding over on Fund My Comic. And the open submissions over on ironage.media are already there. I left all of the links for the things that I am talking down below. So that way you guys can go and check out all of this for yourself. So if that's something that interests you, whether you just want to buy it and see what's going on in the world of the Iron Age here with some of the fantastic artists and you know, creators, or you guys actually want to submit to Anvil number three and have your story featured in Anvil number three, I would highly recommend you guys go over there. Another website that I think is absolutely fantastic is Periopsis Press, okay? Periopsis Press is run by Katie Room. Now, Katie Room does some of the absolute best reviews that I have ever seen in the way that she breaks them down the way that she does subdivisions in her articles and she decided to review the long moonlight by razor fist this week that's right the man who coined the term iron age and i happen to know that she reviewed that book because well we're getting ready to actually do a book club on that so stay tuned for that i believe uh we will be doing the book club here soon in september talking about uh razor fist book but if you guys want to see, and the one thing about Katie over on Periopsis Press is if you want to see good books, she only reviews the things that she likes. If she reads something and she doesn't like it, it doesn't make the cut. It doesn't get to her website. So that's kind of a simple way to just, you know, make sure that she's putting stuff out there. She So honestly, I really do hope that you guys want to go and check out her website. And she has tons of reviews on a ton of other books as well. So periopsispress.com. It's a great resource to find out what stories are out there and which ones uh, you guys might want to check out. Moving on to Fund My Comic. Fund My Comic, what is being featured this week? Well, on the featured page, there are quite a few things. And without making this video overly long and just really really boring for you we'll go and just tell you right on the featured page today we've got lumina vox volume one and two we also have scribbles layout and design works by kelsey ar 13 l the little merc made which i was able to have those guys on and talk with that whole crew they were absolutely fantastic on iron age nights you guys should go check out the adwc replay channel to see what uh what they had to say about ar 13 l that was probably one of the most fun live streams we've ever done also moving on we got bronze star by mike baron and pat broderick those are the top four today that are featured on the Fund My Comic website. So if you guys would like to go check out those projects to see how those are doing, or maybe you guys want to back those, or maybe you want to scroll a little bit further down than I did here today, and you guys want to check out some other comics that are, you know, well, funding right now. Moving on from there, what is ending soon? A few of the projects that I know that are ending soon, I didn't have the time to research this the way that I wanted to today, um, but the projects that I believe are ending soon, obviously you've got Eric July with the ISOM 2 pre-order campaign. All of the special perks and things like that that you're able to purchase for the ISOM 2 pre-order campaign is coming to a close on August 27th. So make sure that you go, and if you're interested in purchasing ISOM and you wanna get your foot in the door there with ISOM number two, 
go ahead and do that. I do believe even though after the pre-ordered campaign will be down, you'll probably be able to get an alternate cover that will be the mass production cover, but you won't be able to get your hands on like Ethan Van Skyver's cover B, which I actually have over here. It's absolutely fantastic. Another project that I know that is coming to a close this week uh, or very soon is uh, The Mythicals by Hojo. Uh, Hojo is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic guy. We've had him on the show. He is a part of my Gilded community. The Mythicals came out with a bang, got highlighted by some unbelievably massive creators. And I'm absolutely proud to say that I had him on my channel before all those other massive guys were shouting him out. So, you know, hey, take the wins where you can get them. And then... Finally, guys, to wrap up this news roundup, I would like to kind of shill my own show that I do every single Wednesday. I call it Comic Shop Wednesday, and I, through Twitter, again, this is why we don't want to get suspended from places like this, or we need to find a new place to go, but I ask a bunch of creators. I'm like, hey guys, it's Wednesday, share your projects. We're going to do a live stream and shout them out. And we go through a bunch of projects and we basically vote myself and my supporters of the channel. We go and we vote for the top four that kind of catch our eye. And those top four this week were Lucid Reality by MD Bonker. Gosh, I hope I said his name right. We then had The Dragon Hand, The Dragon King Trilogy by Yakov Merkin. The Saga of the Sword Breaker, Invincible Under Heaven by Kitsun Chi, that's funding over on Indiegogo, and then Creatures Speed Paint Astral Visitor by Dicebag Games, that is an unbelievably fantastic video to show the artwork for what I think is going to be just an absolutely fantastic tabletop RPG. Um, and I do hope that all of you guys are able to go. You can check out the live stream where we covered these. That link is going to be down below. And above all else, let me know what you guys think about this kind of news roundup. It's new. It's something that people have said they wouldn't mind. I got to give it a shot because if you guys say that you want it, well, I might as well try to give it to you. But just let me know what you think. And like I said in the top of this video, if you like what I did here, if you like hearing the news let me know, and I will do my best to bring this to you every single week. So ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for being here. I forgot to get a beer to do a proper cheers for everyone. So until next time, cheers, everybody. I don't, I don't have a beer. I guess I got to do it, though. There should be a beer here, but <laughs> thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.